I'm Aaron Matthew Lariosa, DC based correspondent with Naval News. We are here on the show floor of SNA, the first day. We are here with Paul Lemo, uh, Vice President and General Manager of Lockheed Martin, Integrated Warfare Systems and Sensors. Thank you for having us. Uh, would you be able to uh, describe what we uh, have uh, your offerings at the sure. show today? Yeah, yeah sure. So uh, behind you, we've got uh, four models. Uh, we'll start over here. This is an LCS ship, littoral combat ship. And what we're focused on here um, is really lethality and survivability upgrades for LCS. You know, different kinds of capability that we can put on the ship to basically give it some firepower. And what you see on the back of the ship here is the Mark 70 launcher. It's essentially a derivative of the same Mark 41 VLS that's on U.S. destroyers and cruisers, but it's containerized, so it's not built into the ship. So this container looks like a standard 40-foot ISO container, and it can be put on any ship, it can be put on land, and it can fire any of the missiles that a Mark 41 launcher can fire. So think Tomahawk, standard missiles, etc. So it's, it's a great capability that we can add you know, to really any platform. Uh, we actually uh, put a real one on LCS-27. We showed it at the commissioning of LCS-27 back in November. Uh, and we've had some test firings on an independence class LCS as well. Uh, last month, uh, Secretary of the Navy, uh, Del Toro, he declared that the LCS is back, and uh, it seems you really highlight the reality upgrades. Yeah. Uh, would, you, uh, would you back up those statements? Yeah, I think there's a lot we can do with these ships. You know, it takes a long time to build a ship, and we know that the U.S. can always use more ships, so we should make the most of the ships we have, including LCS, and I think Mark 70 can add a great capability. And uh, going forward with uh, Mark 70, um, if I'm correct, this is also the uh, mid-range capability for the U.S. Army. Would you be able to talk a bit about that? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, the Mark 70 um, is also the mid-range capability for the Army. They put those containers on a trailer, and they have other trailers that, that have the command and control and the power supplies and so forth. And that makes up a battery uh, for launchers and a command center. We um, are under contract for four batteries. We've delivered two and we're working on the third one now. Um, and, you know, there could be opportunities for additional batteries there as well. So, great capability. Again, they're looking to fire things like a Tomahawk or a st standard missile six for ground attack. Yeah. And uh, because of, you know, the modularity and the popularity of the system, uh, right. we have heard uh, uh, Philippines, they have uh, voiced their uh, desire to acquire such systems and potential any other. Uh, are there any other international customers that are prospective for the system? There's other international interests, you know, essentially we get that interest through the U.S. government. Okay. So uh, the U.S. government will come and say, hey, this country's interested, and, and then we'll engage with them. Okay. Uh, have you heard uh, any particular countries, or have, has demand skyrocketed? Uh, haven't heard of any specific countries that are at the point of being ready to buy. There's been a number that are interested in. And I notice uh, here you at least have the uh, Freedom Class. Uh, has there been uh, interest in the Navy about doing a similar type of, uh, as you mentioned, with LCS-27, uh, with, the in the, with the Independence Class, has there been interest about doing something similar? Well, as I said, really the first one of these that was built was actually tested on an Independence Class ship. So now we've sort of shown how it fits on both yes. types of LCS. So yeah, I think you know, there's interest across the fleet there. Yeah. Would you be able to uh, talk about, because Independence has a pretty large flight deck. Sure. Uh, would, would you be able to, uh, do, do you think you could put more uh, Mark 70 on there? Um, we could probably fit a few more. We haven't necessarily done a, a sizing for the total laydown of how many, uh, but you see three here comfortably fitting on our deck mm -hmm. of a, a Freedom Class, so I'm sure we could you know, fit a few more. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it, Paul. Okay. Thank you.